Illinois' governor is asking state lawmakers for $23 million to improve maternal health and birth equity throughout the state. Today, he outlined where those dollars would go and what it could mean for expectant mothers and their babies. Illinois Capitol Bureau Chief Max Cotton explains. It is vital that we focus on particularly health care and women's health care. That's why Governor Pritzker wants to spend $23 million on several programs helping expectant mothers and their babies. The list includes nearly $4.5 million to the State Department of Public Health to create a strategic plan and issue grants to community-based providers. $12 million for a child tax credit for families with kids under three. $5 million to increase the Department of Human Services home visitation programs, a $1 million for DHS to create a pilot program to distribute free diapers, and a $1 million increase to the Illinois Reproductive Health Facilities Grant. Last week in my State of the State address, I asked my partners in the General Assembly to join me in supporting mothers and mothers-to-be in our new birth equity initiative, a focused effort to expand birth equity and reproductive health justice throughout Illinois. His push comes as the latest CDC data shows nearly 33 expectant mothers die for every 100,000 live births in the U.S. In Illinois, black women are twice as likely to die from a pregnancy-related condition compared to white women, according to the state health department. We still haven't figured out how black women can have safe pregnancies, birthing experiences, and a healthy first year postpartum. Dr. Samir Vora leads the Illinois Department of Public Health. As a pediatrician, he treats infants regularly. He says, how we treat expecting mothers and their newborns is a reflection on our healthcare system as a whole. The health of a mother during and after pregnancy is a critical bellwether for the health of our society and ties directly to the overall health of children and families. Pritzker says while the most important work is being done by healthcare workers at the community level, state dollars make it possible for them to help more expectant mothers and their babies. In 